Hello, you are watching Colors of Asia. We all know that architecture is a part of the material culture of society, one of the leading types of sculptural art, in the forms of which social consciousness is expressed. Architecture and urban design have a significant impact on any person and play a fairly large role in our lives. Today we will tell you about the architectural features of some large cities in our region. And we start with Baku, one of the most beautiful cities of the world. Residents of the city are proud of its unique architecture and their pride is justified. Baku is considered as one of the unique and unforgettable cities of the world. It is distinguished by its original architecture comprised of different styles from various time periods. The city is located at the crossroads of Eastern and Western civilizations. Therefore, here you can find both medieval narrow streets with oriental flavor, ancient fortresses and classical and modern architectural images of European style. Until the beginning of the 19th century, Baku was a small city located within the old Icheri Shahir. Icheri Shahir was surrounded by two rows of walls. Unfortunately, one of them has not survived to this day. At all times, Baku was located on the intersection of various caravan roads of the Great Silk Road, and so a lot of travelers stayed there. Naturally, a large flow of travelers and foreigners left their mark on the architecture of medieval Baku, including the ornaments that were used in the architecture. Scientists believe that the capital of Azerbaijan is about 4,000 years old. Walking down the street of Baku, you unwittingly move from one historical period to another. For example, from the Middle Ages, you can suddenly find yourself at the end of the 19th and early 20th centuries. The development of the oil industry in this region caused an unprecedented construction boom. And it is precisely such contrasts that create the architectural image of the city. We have a significant part of architecture from the end of the 19th, beginning of the 20th century, the Art Nouveau period, which we are proud of. In the central historical part of Baku, there are hundreds of buildings from that period, built by leading European architects. More than a century and a half ago, Azerbaijani millionaires, who suddenly became extremely wealthy, invited leading European architects to work in Baku. The architecture of the central historical part of Baku resembles the architecture of Paris, the architecture of Vienna, the architecture of Budapest. There is a lot in common, because the same architects who worked in Europe built these parts of Baku. The architectural heritage built by the Baku millionaires at the beginning of the 20th century stands out because of Baroque and Gothic styles, which are mixed with a modern style, which mansions, theaters, hotels of that period constitute the main architectural part of the city. In the 1920s, 1930s, the creation of architectural image of the city continued, and this was already a period of constructivism. I believe that the signature card of the city is this period of architecture of the 1920s and 30s, when all the leading Russian and world architects worked in the capital of Azerbaijan. Not less interesting and actually my favorite period in the architecture of Baku is the Stalin period of the fatal 1950s. I call it the period of the architecture of national romanticism. One of the best periods in architecture in Baku, I believe, is the period of socialism. You know, at the time our fathers, our grandfathers, in conditions of limited creativity, created masterpieces of socialist modernism. We are also proud of it today. In 1970s and 80s of the last century, most of the residential and cultural buildings in the central part of the city were designed exclusively by Azerbaijani architects. And during this period, different styles, classical, gothic, oriental architecture were mixed together. This enhanced the beauty of the city. But from the beginning of the country's independence, as well as at the beginning of the last century, the names of Western artists began to appear along with local specialists in the development of the architecture of Baku. It is interesting that literally 150 years later, history repeats itself. Azerbaijan is an independent country, and Azerbaijani architects were joined by the world stars of architecture. They were invited by our government to work in Baku. Here we can see the works of Zaha Hadid and Norman Foster. Baku has become one of the centers of modern world architecture. Today, a large number of modern buildings are built in Baku. 
which can be called unique in its form. The flame is often used, the historical tradition of the country that worships fire and the most futuristic images. At the same time, the most unimaginable images are brought into the interior and exterior, causing delight and exciting impressions. At the same time, old buildings are treated with extreme care in order to preserve and pass on this magnificent legacy to future generations. A major program has been adopted for the restoration of facades, courtyards and interiors of the buildings of the late 19th and early 20th centuries. Balconies, window grates and massive entrance doors are being restored, which we are very proud of. The design and material, which despite the respectable age of 150 years old, are still in good shape. They create the unique beauty of our city. A lot of architectural details are restored by our masters today. Those who once visited Bishkek enjoy its beauty, friendly and kind people, wonderful warm climate and incredible nature. Of course, all those factors affect the architecture of the city, which has changed over the years. This year, the capital of Kyrgyzstan is celebrating its 140th anniversary. Respectively, the history of the architecture of Bishkek began on August 31, 1878, when the plan of the project location of the newly proposed city of Bishkek was approved. Due to this, a gradual transition from nomadic lifestyle to the settled one began. European type buildings began to appear in the new city located at the foot of the majestic mountains. Fortunately, some of them have survived to our days in their original state. Straight away with the start of the Soviet regime, a rapid process of construction of the city was observed. During that period, many interesting buildings were built. But especially active construction process of the capital city of Kyrgyzstan has started in the post-war period, during the transition to industrial construction. In the 60s and 70s of the last century, a mass of various architectural ensembles and separate buildings appeared in the Frunze city. Residents of present-day Bishkek are proud of them. Look, this is the Abdullah Smoldabayev National Opera and Ballet Theater. This building is an example of the Soviet Empire style and has a particular historical value. However, like many other buildings, Influenced by the general global trends, so-called modern style buildings appear in Bishkek. It is modern style. In English, it is called modern architecture. In particular, this Museum of Visual Arts. The authors are Donai Riskulov and Shailu Dikshenkulov. They have not been renovated for a long time, but to this day it is a very interesting building. In the late 70s, early 80s of the last century, the flourishing of Soviet architectural modernism in Bishkek was observed. At that time, many different and interesting buildings appeared on the map of the capital, which immediately attracted everyone's attention. For example, the architectural ensemble of the central square, or the building of the agricultural industry and the arcade around it. In Soviet times, the general canons of architecture had a very strong influence. This is connected not only with the Soviet architecture, but with the dominance of the so-called international style, which implied some kind of unification of all buildings and structures. This was almost the main criteria of evaluation. During this period in Bishkek, we had many of these buildings that looked similar to those which were built in other cities of our region. These buildings in particular, the Philharmonic theaters and classic theaters, Kyrgyz drama, Russian drama theaters, they were developed in Moscow. The image of modern Bishkek is a unique complex of different historical architectural layers. Modern high-rises, fashionable residential neighborhoods, typical buildings of the Soviet period and pre-revolutionary buildings. Each is a unique example of architecture. 
Of course, all these are different epochs, different visions, and different mechanisms. Now architects are trying not to use any common cliches. They work in a wide range of architectural trends that exist in the world now. There are buildings based on neoclassical ideas, there are buildings of the beginning of postmodernism. Kyrgyz architecture looks for the development of national architecture. Culture elements are used to recreate static architecture. The image of the modern Bishkek is changing every year. New blocks and buildings appear. Trends in the architecture of the city change too. But in general it can be noted that different architectural epochs find a common ground concisely combine with each other and make the capital of Kyrgyzstan a particularly attractive and interesting city. Lately, the face of many cities has been changing very quickly. Surely, art of architecture plays the key role in this process. At the same time, it is important to create a comfortable environment for people. And in this regard, such a form of art as urban architectural design plays a special role. In a way, it is a bridge between architecture, human and nature. Architectural design makes the urban environment beautiful, unique, creates comfort, provides an information space. And the residents of Almaty, the former capital of Kazakhstan, where reconstruction of unprecedented scale is currently underway, are convinced of this. Almaty is the largest city of Kazakhstan with a population of over 1.5 million people. This is a city with a large and rich history, one of the largest story centers of the CIS. There is a lot to see and many people want to visit. The architecture of the city is very special. The majority of the city's buildings constructed in a Soviet modernism style. But over the past 25 years, many modern objects have appeared that amaze with new ideas, unusual forms and futuristic elements. Today, most people are inclined to believe that the appearance of the southern capital of Kazakhstan is more European. But according to the chief architect of the city, Nurlan Oranhaev, the international motives and the architecture of the city harmoniously coordinated with the national color. Respectively, there are Asian and European motives. Kazakhstan is a big country with a large territory, and if we look at it, then we can see that there are places with an oriental flavor. As for Almaty, people who come here with whom we talk, for example with people from Hong Kong, Singapore and other places, they say, you don't need it, you really are a European city. I don't think this is bad. As for the eastern flavor, if you take a walk, you can find it here. Almaty became the first city in the country to begin the implementation of the radically new concept, comfortable city for pedestrians. According to the recommendations of the well-known Danish architect Jan Gale and his team, a significant part of the center of the city underwent a large-scale reconstruction. As a result, a large number of pedestrian zones appeared with leisure areas, bicycle paths, unnecessary fences were dismantled, Sports and children playgrounds were installed, trees, hedges, flower beds were planted. This is all done for our residents. We are talking about a comfortable living environment, a barrier-free environment, so that people can comfortably walk in our streets. But if you notice the number of small architectural forms, this includes a bench and street lights has increased. So the main idea of Jan Gale was that pedestrians and cyclists should be the main ones in the city, not automobiles. To make the streets of Almaty attractive and to give them a distinct personality, it was necessary to get rid of spontaneous parking lots, conspicuous clatter, bad taste, numerous kiosks, and arrange open facades in the lower floors of buildings. 
In addition, Almaty has long needed a comprehensive program for the care of trees because the neglected green plantings close not only the view of the mountains and iconic buildings but also the view from the windows of houses. And for the last two years, an enormous amount of work has been done in this regard, the result of which has been enjoyed not only by citizens but also by tourists. <laughs> Due to those spaces which used to be occupied by the car drivers, we added some extra trees and gave an opportunity for the bikers to drive safe along the bicycle lane. I think it looks more efficient. Immediately it opened up the facades of buildings, now we can see restaurants that we had not seen before. People can walk with comfort, they can have a cup of coffee and take a walk with their children. It seems to me that it got a lot better. On the reconstructed streets, there are new fountains. We also reconstructed old fountains. During the work, we brought back many historical buildings to their original places. Recently, the image of Almaty has started to bear marks of the oriental flavor. Thanks to the small architectural forms and unique works of fine arts, Pay attention, this is how the underground walkway of the city looks like now. This is one of the murals, there are number increases in the city. This art form is very popular in Almaty and attracts the attention of many tourists. Greenery gives a special charm to the city. It is difficult for Almaty residents to imagine their city without parks, squares, gardens, shady avenues and green islets. At the moment, for every resident, there are only 3.1 square meters of greenery. We have plans to increase the share of greenery for each resident of the city to 14.1 square meters. Successful implementation of the project Comfortable City for Pedestrians has become a trend. Next year, work in this direction will continue. At the same time, special attention will be paid to the preservation of the individual appearance of Almaty. We are now preparing a concept for the development of the old city. We want to figure out how we are going to do it. Whether we will take down some buildings, whether we will build some high-rises, or will we reconstruct the old historical buildings and make them look better, without changing the old image. But it's not about the city losing its individuality. It is still there. Almaty is still Almaty.
That's all for today. We told you about the architecture of the three largest cities in our region. I hope you found it interesting, and perhaps someday you would like to see it all with your own eyes. You have watched Colors of Asia. See you soon.